The wintry weather slamming New England right now. More snow is expected on top of the foot that's already fallen, and hundreds of thousands of customers are without power this morning. Morgan Norwood is in Portland, Maine for us. Good morning, Morgan. Hey, good morning to you, Michael. Yes, this is the hub for Maine Central Power, where you see right behind me, we've got trucks loading up their utility trucks. Of course, with those power poles, you see the cranes. They're lifting the power poles onto the trucks. They've got uh, transformers, wires, everything they need. And boy, do they have their work cut out for them today, because close to half of the state at one point during the storm was without power. It's gotten a little bit better overnight. They were able to restore power to about 100,000. But still this morning, 300,000 customers are in the dark. Across the region, we're talking 450,000 customers in the dark without power. Uh, and the trees have really been the problem here. They've been crashing down on homes, businesses, blocking the streets. And speaking of the roads, all of that snow that we got yesterday, freezing overnight, of course, making travel conditions treacherous. So you can expect throughout the Midwest and New England for road crews to be back out in full force today. But as far as the situation here on the ground, despite this massive response that you see getting ready to happen here right behind me, crews say it could still be several days before power is fully restored here in the state. Michael? Yeah, I need to get that up and run as soon as possible. Morgan, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.